Welcome to FBC Sports. Even after last month's debacle in the IDC final, Suva will again play at Govin Park in Bar. There is one condition, however. Suva Football wants security to be beefed when they play the Champions League next month. Shelvin Chan spoke to Suva President Mahen Prasad. Suva says it will act like true champions and play at any venue against any team, even if it means returning to Govind Park. I uh, have to play the game and I think uh, uh, provided the securities are there and uh, we don't have any difficulties in playing any player anywhere in Fiji. Prasad confirms they will make a strong case before Fiji football to have additional security at Govind Park. Uh, we'll put it in writing to Fiji football that uh, a team wants enters Govind Park and we need uh, security and uh, the security should know how to handle this team uh, like a Suva team and number of players here. Suva is hoping that the IDC fiasco will be forgotten. We believe that the Fiji Football Association, they are uh, educated people and they know the security reason why Suva is requesting. Definitely they'll uh, put a strong security when we'll go to Govin Park. And I think if the security is strong and uh, there won't be any problem uh, playing at Govin, Govin Park. As you know, Govin Park uh, got a good uh, uh, ground uh, pitch. The first leg of the Champions League will be played in Prince Charles Park, Nandi, on December 9th. A week later, Bao will host the game at Govind Park. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. The Flying Fijians will have to battle the cold Europe winter in their Northern Hemisphere tests. FBC Sports caught up with the team in London who say they're yet to have a training run. Shalvin Chan previews the England test. The Flying Fijians, especially those on their maiden Europe tour, came face to face with winter, finding out what cold really is. The management believe a few training runs outside will help them get conditioned. We are currently experiencing a, a very cold weather conditions at the moment, and uh, the two training sessions we had has been confined to indoor activity, and we will be moving outdoors by Monday to get the boys conditioned to the uh, conditions of the weather. Europe-based players will join camp from next week and their experience will definitely help. All the boys are fine now. We are hoping to... The boys are hoping to... Uh, not hoping. The boys who are playing in Europe will join us tomorrow. And uh, the last one to get in will be Tua Pakitala Metal, who will be flying on from New Zealand. The players were visited by the Fiji High Commissioner to Korea and other staff as they transited through Korea. We were farewelled by uh, uh, the High Commissioner, uh, Mr. Philip Monikau, and the Permanent Secretary to Prime Minister of uh, uh, left hand with Colonel Tugundondua, who gave him the uh, best wishes for the team's uh, uh, tour of Europe. Fiji faces England next Sunday. The boys have never beaten England in their last four outings, something they're hoping to change. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. As promised by the Fiji Car Club, the last quarter mile sprints for the year has been the best yet. Tanovo Airstrip was nothing short of a drag racing strip as some highly tuned cars turned up, hoping to break some records. Shelvin Chan takes a look at some of the runs. This is what people turn out for, cars with massive power that get your blood pumping. The competitors included some veterans and young racers, putting their cars to the test. For the Fiji Car Club, it's been a good year. Uh, at the moment, what we are trying to do, we are trying to introduce the second racing for the next year and uh, hopefully we'll have more events coming up in the next, uh, because this year was quite uh, hard for us. We've got a new timing device. Let's see how it goes for the next year. From the big V8 in the open class to the smaller sedans, every driver had something for the fans. Uh, at the moment, what we are trying to do is to try various stages of uh, the development that we have done in the car. The first run was about 16, the second run was 15. We're trying to slow, decrease the time, but it's going to be gradually. Uh, we cannot be doing pu pushing it too hard right now. Taos Khan's been racing for three decades now. He's seen it all. Been there, done that. I feel... It feels great because uh, everyone I spoke to, you know, I said, hey, what's wrong with your car? What's wrong with your car? You know? And I said, okay, let's do it this time. Uh, being the last race of the year, I really need to put 
maximum power to ground and see how well she behaves. No? So uh, next run I'll put nitrous and then the final run I'm going to give it full power. So you're going to give uh, Robin a run for his money? Ah, yeah, definitely. In almost every race, there are new surprises as newcomers show off their rides. The Fiji Car Club is hoping come next year, the numbers will continue to grow. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. Gold Darts took out the Suvalami Darts League competition yesterday afternoon, beating Combined Brothers in a thrilling final. Made up of mostly taxi drivers, Gold Darts had a point to prove. Having lost one round during the 10-week league, Gold Darts came back stronger and better. The Suva Lami Darts started more than two months ago with players meeting up every Monday evening for pool competition. Organizers are hoping to have a bigger competition next year and hopefully pick a national team for regional competition. No Sorry Club snooker competition was on again this weekend, but this time a woman had the men on their toes. Rina Lata featured in the men's competition and turned heads with her skills. According to the organizers, No Sorry Club is hoping to attract more women to join the sport. No Sorry players recently did well in the national championships and the club is hoping that its regular competition keeps churning out champions. The weekly competition attracts players from as far as Corvo.